My sister, 6, and I, 11, were playing with these little dolls. I went to pick up the boy doll. Once my hand was at least 12 inches away, it, I kid you not, flew up and landed under our bunk bed. I asked my sister if she saw that and then she looked at me like she just saw a ghost. She legitimately stood up and ran to my mom saying that the house was haunted. That messed with me for the longest time before I convinced myself that it didn't happen. Wow, a question I can actually answer. My pop pop has a memorial bench at our city's country club golf course, and every year on the anniversary of his death, my dad drives out there to pour him a beer and talk with him. They'd always golf there, together. A few years ago, my younger brother and I joined our dad. We hopped out of the car to rent a golf cart when I noticed a man in a sun hat sitting on the curb. When he heard my dad and bro talking, he looks up, turns his head to me, and smiles. Swear to my grave that was my flipping grandfather, the one whose memorial we were visiting. I had to excuse myself to the restroom, I was spooked. Still haven't told my dad. Nobody ever believes me about this one and I just stopped telling it. I was at a friend's house, I must have been 16-17. There was an old room that just came with the house and were using it as a storage, and occasionally as guest room. Nothing was really wrong with it or the house, it was just one of those old, dark houses with heavy curtains and sad wallpaper. We were just hanging out in the living room, which was just next to it. We heard a loud knock coming from the guest room. We thought nothing of it, thinking it was the guys upstairs or something similar. The knock came back even louder. When we got closer the door handle started to turn slowly, and the door just flung open. We closed it right away. Same thing happens twice in a row. Loud knock, handles turn, door opens. We panic and just run outside, scared to death. There was a small park close to my friend's house and we just stay there for a few hours. When we come back, the room is in a complete mess, like someone got it and looked frantically for something. Only that room. My friend didn't have any pets and no one had been home in that time frame. We tried telling to her mom but she just blamed the wind and said that we had too much imagination. Weird things kept happening in the house after that, book being ripped apart, broken glasses and dishes etc, and my friend's family moved after a few months. We weren't super close so I don't really know if it was because of that. I was studying alone at home, I was homeschooled at the time, and was feeling really lonely. My mother had always told me that there's an invisible friend out in the woods behind our house. She told me his name was Shadow Man and that you could only see him if you turned your head the right way. She also told me that when you're lonely, sometimes you silently call out to things you don't know are there. I had forgotten all about it until I saw someone walking up to me on my right. I didn't see anybody enter the room so I instinctively flinched and turned my head, just for the shape to disappear. One night my door cracked open and I heard a female voice say she's here then it closed. I was too scared to check but when I got up the next morning to see if maybe my roommate had gotten back from her trip early I found that the front door's lock was still locked and the chain was on its latch still. I used to work in a theme park and my station was for kids normally toddlers and a rest place for moms. Since it was around 7pm the place is empty and only I and the depth head were in the station. At around 8pm the depth head went out and left me alone. I then started cleaning up and doing some closing procedures. Closed all the lights and left my desk light on. I opened the drawer for a pocket mirror and looked at it. There behind me stood a person with the same uniform as my depth head. I froze. Looked at it and analyzed if it was really her. It couldn't have been her as she just left and it would usually take 4-5 to 10 minutes to reach the front gate of the theme park. The glass door also has bells that ring when someone enters or exits and it didn't even move. When I finally realized that it couldn't have been her, I placed the mirror down and closed my eyes. Counted to 10 and slowly stood up to head towards the front glass door. I never tried looking back, not until the real depth head came back. Slept in the room my friend's grandpa recently passed away in, 
Like just a few days ago woke up to this black transparent staticky silhouette staring at me at the foot of the bed 100% sure that was the grandpa went from atheistic agnostic to deist that night. I saw a hand underneath the guest bed so I was around 9 and playing on my tablet cause I was addicted at the time. My charger kept falling into the crack of the bed between the wall. So this happened again and I went to go pick it up. When I was about 2. I saw a dirty man's hand coming from beneath the bed hovering over part of the charger. This bed is a twin size and it's so small beneath it that a kid can't fit under, so I knew it couldn't be a real person. So I ran out that room and never went in there for over a year. Now it's my bedroom. This, this is exactly why I don't look under my bed. This might get buried but oh well, in my living room, the love sofa faces directly to my brother's bedroom. One night I was alone sitting on that sofa watching TV. It was winter so no ac or fan was on in the house. All windows were locked and my brother's door was closed. He was at a friend's house but I didn't know this yet. I usually freak out always when I'm watching TV and I think I hear something. I turned to look at the door and the doorknob was jiggling like someone was trying to open it. At this point I thought my brother was smoking outside on the fire escape and was trying to open his door. The jiggling stopped and I texted my bro asking where he was. He said at a friend's in Brooklyn. So now I'm like oh snap, someone must have gotten in through the window. At this point the doorknob jiggled a bit more, stopped, turned as if someone was opening it from the inside and then the door swung open. There was no one on the other side. Once I saw there was no one on the other side of the door I ran to my bedroom, locked the door and called my mom crying because of a ghost. She feels like there's a ghost here too. Whenever I try telling someone this story, they brush it off. I am still terrified to this day. Okay I have a pretty crazy story. When I was a kid, we moved into a house by the woods. One night as I was finishing up playing video games, I turned all my lights off and went to bed. As I was closing my eyes, something whispered into my ear don't worry, we're here. It was the voice of a woman and it was so real I could feel the breath. So for the next 6 months after that, every night at around 2am there would be light tapping on my bedroom door. Like a light knock when you weren't trying to wake anyone else up in the house. I would always go to the door and open it but there was never anyone there. I had gotten used to it after a while. And this happened every night. I had invited girls over from time to time and they heard it every single time. We could never figure it out. So I'm not crazy. About after 6 months a dark shadow appeared in my room in the top corner. It was swaying back and forth in the corner. It was solid black. I had never seen anything that black. The next day I finally decided to tell my parents. My mom said that the same thing was happening to her. As we were talking about it, our back door swung open and slammed shut as hard as possible. I never had an issue with it after that. About 10 years ago me and my friends were being haunted by what we assumed was a very evil spirit. We sort of went to an uncemetery next to an abandoned monastery. Long story short a black fog attacked us and we ran home. We split and all go home. I went to my apartment, I was 19 at that time, and when I got back home just as I was about to unlock the door I heard a glass fall down from inside my apartment. I got in and a glass of beer that I had left on the counter earlier the day was dropped. Then I went to go sleep and just as I was about to go asleep I hear a very deep whisper on my right ear. I did a backflip of my bed and just ran to the living room. I stayed there until it was like 5 to 6 am when the sun was coming out. But it wasn't just me or my friends who were there at the cemetery had stuff like this happen to them. The two worst things that happened were the fire that started on my friend's lawn and it was in the shape of a cross. It didn't spread anywhere else or anything. The other one happened to a girlfriend of mine where she was brushing her teeth and she happened to look behind her and saw according to her a black mist with a white mask like face and deep black eyes watching her from behind. She turned around and saw nothing and she called some of us and was frantically begging us to come and help and calm her down. It was the first time I have ever seen her in such a state and we stayed the weekend at her place. About after 4-5 months after the stuff happened they just stopped. 
I moved to a new apartment and we haven't been at that cemetery since. The black fog first attacked you while you were still at the cemetery? Yes one of my friends pointed that he saw a black figure go behind this cross in the cemetery. We all looked at the cross and there it was a black fog like thing just started moving towards us. We ran fast like hell out of there and I haven't been there since. Here are some images of it. Sorry if they're low quality I haven't been there in years and I live like a few hundred kilometers away now.